This video is a guide for those who have purchased the eTunes service. Uh, it's going to demonstrate how to record a log um, and also be able to save the log and send it to me via email. So we'll get started first by simply just opening up a tune file. If you don't have a tune file or I didn't email you a tune file ahead of time, um, what you can do, you can actually import it from the NEMU or import it from the ECU. So what you have to do uh, first is to open up a file. So uh, if you go to File, Open TCD, um, and then you can come down here, um, go to Tune Data, and then go to Startup Calibrations. Um, and this CCU is the K24DE, so that's the one I want to start uh, with. And I'm going to do the Real Drive Manual. Um, and I'll open that up. And you'll see Emulator Status has disconnected and Logger Status has disconnected. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the Nemo. And you'll see uh, first it'll pop up connected and then it will download. So I just downloaded it and compared. So what I opened does not match what is on the NEMU. So what I want to do is actually import into uh, the TCD that I opened the contents that is on the NEMU. If you already have a calibration or I already sent you one, you can do the opposite. You'll actually upload it. But for those who do not have one, you, you'll want to import. So we'll import. Um, and that basically imports everything that's on the NEMU into your currently open file. Okay. Now. Uh, next thing we can do, um, for those of you who have just started the program, um, you'll see it will default to logger status disconnected, um, which will be here. Um, to enable the, the logging, all you do is hit this blue um, Wi-Fi looking button, and that will connect the logger. Uh, to make this easier on next startup, you can actually go to the settings window, go to miscellaneous settings, and then click check the auto connect logger button um, in there and then every time you connect the NEMU it will automatically also connect the logger it just saves a step um, okay so the next thing we're going to do is plug in the ne or uh, turn the key on um, so I'm going to do that and you'll see the logger status change from connected to live da data so that's what you want to see um, if it stays connected if your logger status stays connected even after you turn the key on um, it's one of two things. Um, generally, I test every ECU before it ships out. So normally it's not the ECU. Um, about nine times out of ten, it is interference on the consult wires, your factory consult cable wires. And these are pin locations 7, 14, and 15. And those wires actually need to be removed or cut out of the factory ECU harness. Um, so if you don't get don't get live data on here, that's the first thing you should look into. And it's especially prevalent on S13s um, for whatever reason. Uh, almost uh, honestly, 90% of those need it. Uh, B13s and B14s don't have as much of a problem. I'd say maybe 50% of those have an issue. Um, but either way, that will likely fix your problem. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is open the log analyzer window. And this window is what we're going to use to actually record the log and what we're going to use to save the log. So if you go to logging and go to log analyzer, uh, it will open up a blank screen. So what we're going to do to actually populate this window is to right click and hit add new graph. Um, and it will add a graph on there for you. Now I already had an a example log file loaded on here just to show you what, uh, what it looks like. Um, so you can also sc scroll through um, after you have it recorded and it will put it into re review mode. If it ever goes into re review mode and you can't get it out of it, you're not sure how, this little magnifying glass is basically puts it into and takes it out of review mode. So if you click this button, it goes right back to live data. Um, the other screen I like to have active is the data screen. If you go to logging and hit data screen, it will pop up um, a list window on the you know left side. You can put it wherever you'd like, um, but that's just that just shows you that you know things are up and running, and you can see the battery voltage is moving around. I have this ECU currently connected to a test bench, so it's not in car, but this just this gives you a, at least an idea. So, to once you have everything up and running, you have live live data. Everything's everything's working. Um, what you're going to do is actually go down here and hit this record. Uh, button that's going to start recording. So we're going to hit that. Um, you can see it changed logger status to recording. Um, and what you're going to do is you know drive around. 
Um, try to keep the logs between two and five minutes. Um, they're just easier to view if you do that. Um, you can take multiple logs um, and send them via email. That's not a problem. So once you have, you know, have your desired um, desired driving done or or portions of the log, um, all you do is come back down to the record button, hit stop record, um, and that will stop the recording. And you'll see it goes changes it back to live data and it's no longer recording. Um, the log title down here is untitled um, because we haven't saved it yet. So to save a log, all you do is hit the Save TCL button, which is right here, um, and you can save it as you know, example two or name it whatever you want, um, and we'll save that. And you'll see it changes the log title to whatever you just saved it to. So uh, that's all you need to do to actually record a log, and you can do this multiple times. So um, for the Etune service, you're going to want to send me the tune file and all of the log files that you have. So, regardless if I sent you a tune file before or um, um, if you know you modified or made your own, um, you still want to send me the tune file, the TCD, and all of your log files in email. Um, don't just send me the logs because then I don't have a matching tune file to go with it, um, and I can't make the proper changes. So. I will make the revisions to the tune file and send it back with any notes, um, you know, telling you what, um, you know, what either what I changed or um, what to do in the next next revision. Now, if it's the first, you know, first couple um, eTune logs that you're going to send, um, I don't advise going wide open throttle just yet. Um, what you can do is um, just get idle, uh, some part throttle, and you know, if it's a booster guard, just to maybe a little bit of boost pressure, get it into positive pressure. And that way, I can kind of see how globally the tune looks, um, and then from there, I'll you know I'll let you know when it's when it's the time to start going wide open throttle and and getting some things dialed in. Um, but yeah, from there, that's this uh, this should at least help you out and get you straight or er, straightened out on how to record your first log and um, you know send them in for for your eTune service.